Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Will Comer and Voices by Corey. Hello. Winnie Dents. Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. We're here on a packed Thursday, Thursday, Thursday night. I had to check. It is Thursday. What are they? <laughs> I'm here. Corey's here. We're Hello. joined by a lovely, lovely person. This is Senor Pelo. What's up, Senor Pelo? Hey, hi, hi, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. You got your water. You're all set up. I finished my water, but yeah, yeah, I'm on, on the side up. Yeah. You already finished your water? <laughs> Jesus. You just got the water. Really thirsty boy. If you need to get more water, let us know. Corey, you doing okay? I am doing great. I am hydrated myself. I got some water ready as well. Good. Uh yeah, I, I'm I'm good to go. I'm nice. excited, man. I am excited. I, I'm I love the size of the guest chat that we have right now. Everyone is blowing it blowing it up, wanting to talk to Pelo and ask him some questions. So we may have some guest questions. Uh, towards the end of the podcast, let you guys talk to him. But I, I'm excited to talk to you, man, and pick your brain a little bit. This is, this is going to be fun. Yay, yeah. yay. And guys in the chat, um, yeah, at the end, it'll be about you. But if, if, with this whole time, if you want to just shout out things you want to say or talk about, we're here looking at you and the words you're saying. Somebody already, Bold King Cole asked Palo if he's staying warm. You're staying warm, right? It's hot where you are. Nah, hey, ooh. <laughs> Very fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been cold here. It's like foggy this morning. It was foggy and it looked like the mist, that Stephen King movie where everybody gets killed by monsters in a grocery store. Spoilers. <laughs> I, got, I, I finally movie. got some snow going down at my place right now. It's I've only had snow <gasps> maybe two times this year. So we finally have a snowstorm, com- snow st- snowstorm coming in. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. It's nice. I want a fucking storm right now. Jesus Christ. I hate yeah. heat. I, wish for I, snow. Can, I can't do heat either. It, it pisses me off. And I ended up moving to basically a desert. So when summer comes, <laughs> I'll be dealing with 110 degree weather. So that's oh, fun. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm enjoying the cold weather right now. <laughs> that's good. I've lived in approximately two kinds of places in my life. Dry, hot and wet, hot. Right now I'm in wet, hot. It's pretty w- well. It's not hot right now because it's cold. But usually it's very wet and very humid. And I'm very sweaty and my hair is all over the place. And I'm happy today because all it is is just the mist, the movie where people get killed in a grocery store. And <laughs> it's comfortable. Yeah, just I'm, wet, I'm wet hot too. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> not a lot of wet, but really hot. <laughs> do you That's guys usually get drenched in sweat in that wet, hot weather like where it's really humid and all that nasty ass shit? I wish it was humid. It's next to the beach, but it ain't fucking humid. Nothing. It's so oh. fucking hot. <laughs> it's humid, and the answer for this is yes. It's, I get very <laughs> humid. <laughs> I remember when I was uh, uh, in my baseball playing days, um, I played summer ball in North Carolina, where it is hotter than the devil's asshole. And <laughs> like our, our games would start at 7 p.m., and at 7 p.m., it would be 95 degrees out with 110 percent humidity. So by the time we were my done God. with the first half of the first inning, my 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 uniform was just drenched in sweat. Ugh. <laughs> it was it was gross. <laughs> so I know the pain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was basketball for me. It was indoors, so I didn't get it. I wasn't oh, good yeah. enough for the school team. So I got into like the YMCA teams with the kids who also weren't in the school teams. And I was pretty good, except that a lot of times wouldn't know which side of the court to throw the ball at. That's not a joke. That's a true story. <laughs> throw but. the ball at. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I'm saying basketball, you is the, basketball where you throw the ball at is probably not a good sign in the first place. But <laughs> <laughs> Will showing true contention that he'll be an NBA Hall of Famer first ballot. That's no joke right there. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, you a sports guy? You ever get into any sports? Uh, hell no. I, I only done like two sports in my life, but hell no. When I was a kid, I played soccer, football for the friends. Uh, <laughs> and, and baseball, but that's it. It wasn't a lot and it wasn't that hot back then. 
that makes sense. Kids baseball was kind of a bum deal too, because it was like T ball. Did you play T ball? The fuck is T ball? T ball is maybe that's <laughs> okay. So T ball is like training wheels, bad baseball for little kids that aren't good enough to hit the ball as it's coming at them. So they literally put the ball up on a stick. And all you have to do is hit the ball off of the stick as far as you can and then run around while your mom screams. Oh, dude, hell no. The the coach was like, no, you got to you got to hit this. You got to learn how to hit it. I ain't going to put you baby ball there. Hell no. <laughs> That's so much better. You, you think it would be easy to hit that ball off, uh, you know, the little tee? It can be really hard for some people. <laughs> <laughs> you see them swing and they just completely swing over the ball. You're like, the hell's the matter with you, kid? It's sitting right there. <laughs> see it? Hit it. <laughs> I've worked with I, I would work with little kids, uh, basically teaching them how to swing after I was done uh, playing myself. Wow, th- that sounded incredibly wrong. After I was done with my baseball career, I, I gave no, we know what you I mean. It's okay. We know exactly what you're talking about. I gave hitting lessons and um, I would work with, you know, kids who are um, learning to, you know, hit off of a like a pitcher. And you would start off with hitting off the tee just so they can get the hand-eye coordination. My God, they would miss the ball so many times. And I'm just sitting there either laughing to myself or just shaking my head thinking, you know, <laughs> you're too you're too old to be missing a ball off the tee. Or, my God, that's so cute. Keep trying. You almost got it, buddy. Just aim a little bit lower. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost going to hit the ball off of the stick. It's okay. <laughs> Do you teach them? Here's the thing, though. Like, yeah. Hitting the ball, I, I I don't think that's the most important thing on baseball, is catching it. Catching is mm. fucking scary. It is. It is. That's true. I t- that freaking thing's coming a- at you from high up. I took a line drive off of the jaw uh, in my senior year of college ball, and I had a broken jaw, so oh. it is hard to catch the ball. Oh. See, I Jesus. did the stupid thing, though, and I tried to catch it with my face instead of using my glove, so that that's just me being an <laughs> idiot, you know? I, I thought that the chin was a good you know, place to catch a ball, but no. It's an understandable it, it thing to do. <laughs> no, you see dogs do it. I, I was so fucking scared of catching the ball. <laughs> Look at the sky, then you can see the ball so fucking tiny. Like, what the fuck? The sun is fucking not hot, bright. You can fucking open the eyes and then you, yeah. you're just so fucking scared. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like eight years old standing there with your eyes closed, holding your hand up to God, just waiting for something to land. <laughs> uh, dude, I was like 15 or 14. I- <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> Try to make it better. Were you generally like the, the kid who was inside making animations and stuff? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I'm just asking. What if we naked baby on <laughs> animations? Oh no. Wait, what? What did you think I said naked? Yeah, I heard naked. No. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I said, were you, the, were you the kid inside making animations instead of playing the bad sports? I wish. I <laughs> fucking if you were naked, wish. then you can add that too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else are you supposed to do? What are clothes when you're inside by yourself? Just watching and think, I could do that better. And then it's your turn and damn it. <laughs> well, what would you say some of the animations inspired you to actually want to get into animation, though? Um, really no, question. thanks. <laughs> None. Like, it's your fault. It's, it's your, no, no, it's your fault that this is happening. It's our fault that you're doing animation? Yes. All Maybe true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll say fucking thank you. Hell yeah. I was just say like I didn't know I was an inspiration to Senior Pelo. That's that's quite amazing. I had no idea I had that gravitational pull. I thought I was just yeah. some small ho dunk wannabe. <laughs> so that's good to know. <laughs> no, but seriously, I... the, the, you're watching somebody and you see a cool animation online and it inspires you to maybe do one of your own. And there's somebody there for you. Yeah, that's the thing. Though, like there's a lot of people big and tiny that inspire me. Not even to animate, just to draw. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fun that's it you see fun and you want to join in yeah. any shape or form not just repeating the same thing that everyone does but also making something new and and i love that who and was there anybody online anybody that we'd be able to find ah fuck now that's the problem there's there's a lot of people um ah, fuck 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 um it's just a general world of like the internet and people making animations and you saw them and it's just a bunch of people doing it basically no, okay, 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 I remember now. There is this Twitter account. They don't do animations. They just post shit. It's the 21st century comedy or something like that. Okay. Yeah, they, they just 
put a bunch of videos together and it goes so fast you cannot even fucking think. And that inspired me to do the the comedy animation where every everything is just making fun of the the humor and then everything turns to shit. Yeah. Just from a fucking shit pose and that's amazing. Right now I'm I'm back into a fandom. Mm -hmm. Now you you guys know bullet hells? Yeah, bullet hell games like the ship flying around and there's a million ass bullets. Yeah. Like to yeah. Toho yeah. is one, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I I'm did into, it. The, into that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying, dude. I totally saw your Twitch stream earlier and knew that you played that. I can't be honest about that. Oh, fuck <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing people drawing that and I'm like, oh, that's so fun. I want to do that too. And I just do it. I, I cannot pick someone specifically because there's just mm -hmm. a lot of people. Yeah, at least you have a, a lot of people inspiring you to, you know, pick up a pen, start drawing and then you know move on to animation. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who are just trying to think of how they potentially could get started. You know, the simplest solution is to pick up a pen and start practicing and start drawing and start, you know, drawing things that you love to, you know, you want to draw. You know, that, yeah. that was one of the things I did when I was little. I would draw comics. Uh, based um, based off of uh, the Captain Underpants books, I used to draw comics just because I saw them doing it in the books and I had fun doing it. And I would mm -hmm. also um, I would also like sketch uh, Nickelodeon characters. But I realized that was the only way I was ever going to be good at drawing is by drawing other characters like that. <laughs> so <laughs> I just I, I gave up on drawing altogether. But, you know, it's it's stuff around you that inspires you to actually want to pursue yeah. drawing or, or whatever it is you want to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Was your style something that just came immediately? Or, and when I say your style, I mean like the things you post nowadays. Or was it like a gradual thing and it looked completely different and slowly it morphed into what it is? Yes, that one. That one. The second yeah. one. Yeah, it started as South Park, a little bit with <laughs> Looney Tunes. Yeah, then okay. It, it started growing like a little fetus. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it sounded like when it grew? I like that. <laughs> yeah, you put all my life together. <laughs> <laughs> when you started um, creating your own content, I guess we can go and jump right into, you know, your biggest characters to date, you know, from uh, all the Spooky Month uh, cartoons you put out on Newgrounds <laughs> with Skid and Pump. The main premise in, you know, is the, the main center of inspiration for the cartoons. But what made you want to create Skid and Pump? Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing. There's another inspiration for that. Uh, Based, I think his, it's his name. Based, Bassett, the guy who made the, the squarey red guy. Bassett Films? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love those animations um, of those two characters, especially the red guy. I don't remember his fucking name. Me neither. But... I just remember he likes a sock and he sniffs a sock in one. But yeah, yeah. A sock sniffer. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, it made me make a cartoon, an original one, or just a sketch, a doodle of characters that are doing something. That's it. And yeah. something happens. And that's all. I started making like the two characters that I had long, long time ago, turned them into like chasers trying to solve problems. Then I was like, eh, I'm not sure. And then I started doodling, doodling until I created like a skid and pump. Nice. Then, then it was close to Halloween, so I'm like, what if I use these characters and make an animation? Oh, well, that's fine. That's easy. But what happens? Yeah, and, what goes wrong? Yeah. And I remember I saw, I don't know if it was a tweet or a video where it's like, oh my god, it's a spooky month. And that, whoa, my fucking brain just exploded. <laughs> yes, it's a spooky month. And they do something. It's spooky month, just they do something. It's and spooky right month, now, it's really? Evolving. Yeah, it's spooky month. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little dance. How how did you come up with the the spooky month dance? It's it's so cute. It it was a uh, okay. There was five dances that I wanted to make. Five. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the first one was like, you know, Miku, Hatsune Miku. Yeah, she did a dance where she goes like one side and then the other. And I'm like, okay, that that looks catchy, mm -hmm. but I don't want that. Then I went to Fortnite, and there was just a lot of movement. I tried to combine simple, but at the same time, a little bit complex. 
like j- just you see it and it's catchy that that's what i needed yeah so i just tried to doodle animation after animation i looked at myself how ridiculous i looked doing it <laughs> you look great <laughs> doing it Not until it came out yeah thank you thank you for that makes perfect sense <laughs> <laughs> and and it finally came out and well, I looked at myself and I'm like, well, this is this is fucking ridiculous, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is great. I You look great doing it. I think if I tried to do it, my back would immediately break and I'll just be a pile <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> it's very fast. I do it's love really it. really fucking fast. I, I got the first time I did it on stream, I got dizzy. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> right. It's your head. Your head goes all over the freaking place. <laughs> yeah. Which works for you because the hair goes just straight up into different continents when you do that, which is very good. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> that's the funniest part. <laughs> it has become pretty iconic for, uh, you know, for for Halloween now. I, I would say it's more it's more popular than any Fortnite dance. That's just my opinion, though. You know, a lot of kids did those dance. But if I and were better. to choose a dance, I would do the, the spooky month dance. <laughs> it's yeah. more fun. <laughs> Listen. The, the the thing that I want is just to appear on Fortnite. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. That's all I want. It hasn't happened yet, but I know one day, one day oh. they will see it and they're like, okay, fine. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> throw it in. I think you're so close. I can see it happening like tomorrow. I'm not even kidding. I mean, you're already basically there. At least the dance is already featured in a game, though. That's that's the cool thing. <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah. Are you talking about fighting that Lincoln? Yeah. We yeah, just yeah, talked about that. You know, when, uh, of course, uh, Skid, and, Skid and Pump are featured in week two of Friday Night Funkin' with an awesome track by Kawhi Sprite. And the entire time, of course, they're just doing the spooky time or the spooky month dance. Um, uh, how, how cool was it to see uh, your boys end up being in what is now a huge game? I mean, look, I listen. I was just not doing any. I don't remember what the fuck I was doing. And then Phantom <laughs> Arcade came to me and be like, hey, dude, um, can you give us the permission of using your game? And I'm like, what? Hell yeah, do it, do it. Yes, what do you need? A- anything. Just tell me. <laughs> I was so fucking excited. When I saw that, I'm like, oh. That's so good. <laughs> I took hours playing the fucking level. It's the mm-hmm. second week, and he's like, damn, this is fucking hard. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so hard. People say it's one of the hardest levels in the entire game, but it's fun, man. I love the track that 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 goes along with uh each phase of of uh, week 2. And did you end up recording uh the the beep boops for for the characters? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. It's 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 actually me. Beep 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 beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's that's so wonderful. Cool. Actually, <laughs> actually, wait, wait, actually, like <laughs> a fun thing. I did a skit and pump like both of them. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know if both of them like are used or combined. I don't know. It I sounds they like are. they're combined, but it's yeah. it's it's still cool. Like hearing them combined together. I gotta say though, this is just a call out, Ninja. What the fuck was the third day? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like the the very first time I beat week two, um, I almost failed the the second song and I got to the end and I'm probably maybe a hair away from getting blue balls and Uh. it cuts out and it goes back to the main screen. I'm like, all right, let's try week two again. And then I looked, I'm like, oh, wait, there's only two songs. Yeah, I completed week two. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I got to give you props, Palo, seriously, because when... We actually had Ninja Muffin and Kawhi Sprite and everybody on too. And uh, he said that like your tweet and your retweeting early Friday Night Funkin' art was part of what got it popping in the first place. Like they really credit you for being one of the initial people that got it big. And I mean, now look at it. I think you could say that you kind of had some place in the beginning there. I, 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 I no. Do you I feel mean, that? You should feel that. L- you listen, should be proud. Listen. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, no, I don't feel that because... <laughs> <laughs> like I can retweet anything and it will get a little bit, but the game is is fun. Yeah, it's it's like DDR. I think it's the name. Yeah, yeah, Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, it's it's the music is good. You see the characters is like they're simple, they're fun to look at. It, it's just fun. Even if I didn't retweet it, it will get the same amount of the, the same shit. 
Okay. Yeah. That's a nice you know, way to say it. But yeah, you're right. Because you see it and you see the picture and you're like, this looks amazing. And you hear the music and you're hooked forever. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know a lot of people just listen to the music. They play it on easy or they just put the, the free mode, I think, or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I, I know that if I didn't retweet it, it would take more time, but it will still end it in the same place. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's good. It's good. It's really good. Are you playing the other levels? Yes. Yes. Ho- yeah. Fuck MILF, by the way. Just, just want to <laughs> say that. Fuck that yeah. fucking song. And, Man, that and, lady's hard. And fuck the developers, because they haven't added the, the, the first monster song. <laughs> what, what, you the know first about monster the, song? Yeah, the first monster, the lemon monster song, the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like just to listen to it on, on its own, you mean? Yeah, okay, okay. Let me let me tell you, when the game was like growing just a little bit, there was yeah. one fucking video with um I think a thousand views or like nine hundred. It's like oh hated music on the game. And it was like, Oh, it's from this guy. This guy is, is, is showing all that shit. And this is the lemon guy, and I'm like, Oh my god. So <laughs> I told Phantom Arcade, dude, what is this? Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. <laughs> the fucking game gets big and everyone knows about it. <laughs> the lemon guy creeped me out the first time. I love it. It's I, that's what I want. I <laughs> I really want them for what it seems they want to finish the game, which is perfect. Yeah. yeah. I just really, really want them to add cutscenes. Me too. Me too. I, I want to know what they're cool. saying to each other. I'm with you, dude. <laughs> It, they yeah, did kind of have that with the latest week, you know, with the with the Pixel Day submission uh, update. Oh, they yeah. They kind of had yeah. like the in between. So, so that was really cool to see. And then, of course, seeing Boyfriend just go, beep, boop, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's his dialogue. That was still pretty funny. But it was cool to see that. Yeah, that, that's the thing, though. Like, uh, probably on the other weeks, not text, just they moving around and maybe some music because it's. It's understandable that in a date game you will see text. Yeah, it's like but a visual I, novel. Like you just want to, like, want to get the girl until you're going to see her talking to you about why you're not cool enough. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yes. you didn't give her the thirty wedding rings and the two swords. <laughs> <That's a dating laughs> <sentiment>. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they they will probably add them like way at the end. Hey man, so I want to like Newgrounds wise, your your account is from. 2018 it seems like you've been a part of the community for a long 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 time but the account is new how did you did you kind of come to new grounds from a sideways way or did you just meet a lot of the people how did that happen um three times the, mm-hmm. the third one is a new the the 2018 one okay so i know about new grounds probably since 11 12 years year years old um ah fuck i remember like going to the internet but i don't remember how i found no no i remember how i found it there is this site there was this guy making mario parodies the mm-hmm. super kingdom or something like i don't remember them it the thing is in the old times some sites will have like oh look at these cool sites and i found new grounds that way just going yeah. through all the animation sites then i got scared with the teletubby animation uh, game <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> really nice. classic Tom Fop one. But every single day, I went there and just watch anything. Then on my old, I don't remember when. I think I I was still between DeviantArt and YouTube. Probably 2014, 2013. I said, you know what? I wanna start putting my animation that I put on YouTube and on DeviantArt into Newgrounds because I always wanted to be on Newgrounds. Oh, what a, I never felt good about it. I, I never, because I have this respect for Newgrounds. I, I don't know if some people have it. It's like, <laughs> I, I know a lot of content creators that were born there and they're doing something now. It's just not, it looks like shit posting and it is, but <laughs> I still have that respect because even if it's shit posting, at least they do something really good. Or they can okay, do it. I, I've noticed that too. Yeah, so sometimes I don't remember the account, but I, I will just put it and I will feel bad about it. I will look at the comments and it's like, oh, this is fun, this is loud, uh, this doesn't have animation. <laughs> this and is loud. <laughs> it, and, 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 you know, that, that's the point of the animation, that is loud and not animated right. and dumb. Yeah. 
That's what's the fun. Thing, yeah, the thing is, I feel bad because I didn't like posting that on Newgrounds. Mm. So I stopped posting and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to keep being on YouTube. Then Tom Phobe contacted me on on Twitter. I don't remember if I said, oh, I wish I was I would be on Newgrounds, but I just post shit. And then <laughs> Tom Phobe said, oh, you can you can be there. Come on, join. And then I joined. <laughs> the rest is history. God, I can't imagine somebody watching your video, Palo, and saying, I don't like it. It's too loud. Like, what logic is this? <laughs> I guess it was a while ago and people didn't like know that that can be your bread and butter and that's so freaking good. But it's just like, hey, excuse me, you're too loud and the characters are too weird looking. I mean, be, be surprised. Be surprised. I remember someone got really pissed at me because I shared a really loud video and I'm like, oh, it's OK. Sorry. <laughs> Does your voice ever hurt for doing all the screaming, by the way? Hell yeah. Right now, I'm, my, <laughs> my throat is dried as fuck. I, gotta, I need to go for water. But before <laughs> I do that, yes, especially with Moki, because it's not yeah. screaming like, ah, that's, that's not screaming. That's, that's just bitching. That's the slam. Yeah, <laughs> that's just whining. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to do the, the ah with your throat, because that's, that's actually screaming. It's like, ah like that and it hurts it fucking hurts yeah hear you doing that right now it's i can hear your throat kind of constrict you like ah that shit yeah. does hurt but it's it's actually screaming right. and i do with mocky I, I do that all the time but damn it damn it it's like <laughs> my throat me <laughs> that's one of the downsides about screaming for for your content is the next day your your voice is extremely hoarse and it, it's all raspy and it, it it hurts man it sucks i feel you on that one i, I I've, I've had to record a few things where you just scream at the top of your lungs and you're just like ah, my throat hurts after and you have to stop recording maybe after a few takes because you're like i can't keep doing <laughs> yes. that it's gonna hurt it, my voice is gonna go out <laughs> yeah, i feel yeah. you on that Actually, okay, okay, so a voice actor told me this. Ah, fuck, I, his name is Coffin, Coffin something, Coffee Jokey something, damn it. He told, he, I remember when I was doing Underpants, he voiced Gaster, and I remember he was drinking milk, and I told him why, and he told me to not hurt my throat. So, you can do that, that, that has helped me a lot. Milk what? or or yogurt, yeah. Wow, really? Like yeah. after, like after you record, you drink milk or have yogurt, and it helps with your your throat. No, no, it's before. Before, oh, okay. You drink yeah, the milk and you, then you go in and you do it, and it is like a lubricant or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. That's okay, funny wait. because a, a lot of voice acting stuff they tell you not to drink any milk or eat any yogurt or anything like that because you're gonna get like that the mouthy sounds. I mean, yes, but if you're just gonna scream or do the. Uh, voice right. i mean it doesn't matter yeah exactly it's, it's for your own good i mean of course it needs to be warm and all that shit but yeah you have so much freaking good stuff <laughs> out there moki is your mickey mouse parody which is just like absurdist nonsense and i love it it's a lot of screaming <laughs> and it's very fun underpants yes. is your undertale parody which is screaming and a lot of fun <laughs> Well, Some actually, there's there's a really big difference between those two. But just give me a second. Let me just let me just go for water real quick. OK, but OK, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> he's getting some water. <laughs> <sighs> this is fun, though. I love this. Corey, while he's out, I want to congratulate you one more time on getting the gas line and starting your house. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Now yeah. I have gas constantly running and it's running out of my ass now because I have so much gas. Oh, I'm so <laughs> happy to hear that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be threw out a good option. He goes, you know, I should I should step in for for Palo every once in a while if his voice goes out. That would be fun. You could be a replacement. Yeah, you should pitch that to him when he comes back. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Hey, mud. What's going on? Hey, hey, hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Did you hear that Corey wants to be a substitute for you when your voice is too tired? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I, I heard that. Cool. One of the, one of the one of our uh, we have Albie in the chat. He goes, Corey, you should tell Pelo to, you know, you can be his replacement if his voice goes out. I'm like, that's not a bad idea. Oh my god! That, if one time my voice gets like really bad, I I'll probably do some some shit like, oh, please, someone voice for Mucky. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> see, see, there we go. I it's, can it's, do it. It's hard. It's hard. I'll have to listen to his voice and see if I can get it down. 
I'll shoot some audio samples your way just to see if if it's somewhat passable. <laughs> it's all business for Corey. Everything's an audition. Here. I'll, give you, <laughs> I'll give you a secret. I'll give you a secret. It's, of course, a Mickey Mouse voice, but it's not at the same time. So it's, would you say it's kind of like a South Park's rendition of Mickey Mouse? <laughs> no, because well, South it's Park like, is I'm just... Like right there. Exactly. It's, but it's not. Yeah, that's normal. It's like, it's like more fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like the mickey mouse from south park on crack yes <laughs> oh god <laughs> you have like mickey mouse like oh, oh boy hello how are you doing and then you have monkey yeah. hey, hello hey. it's like toad it's like it's a toad. between toad, toad. And, and you're monkey. literally just doing toad <laughs> yeah. yeah oh boy <laughs> Monkey is just toad. That's so true. <laughs> that's so great. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god! Did you see oh that? There's a YouTube video out there of Toad singing Celine Dion songs. If I ever need to laugh, I've seen that. That's awesome. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I felt like maybe you made that because, dang, that's your voice too. <laughs> no, hell no, hell no. I'm not there that clever. <laughs> Thank you, Bacon. Post it in the chat. That's really funny. Uh, nice. <laughs> I, I do want to talk about one uh, animation in particular. You had the chance to jump on an animation with uh, Meat Canyon, and you guys parody Dora the Explorer. How fun was Dang. how fun was that being able to voice Dora and and bring uh, your silly nature to what is a really funny Meat Canyon cartoon? Oh my god! I, I remember the first time he told me, and I he, he kind of translated, and I helped him a little bit. But it was weird. Actually, I fucked up. I fu I fucked up <laughs> in one part <laughs> because if if you hear it, just just listen to it. I changed the voice. I don't know if he used a a wrong clip or something, but I changed it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, at, oh, at what, at what part? Fuck, at what I don't part? Because I think I recognized it. I don't remember. I think I, I think at the beginning it's normal, and yeah. then after Boots appears, like it changes. It's fucking different. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and I was just suffering with that. I'm like, no, no. I'm happy people love it. God damn it. I just love how serious Dora is the entire time, just threatening Swiper's life the entire time. And then Boots rips his tongue out and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and Dora's just talking to him, just you know, being all all serious and quiet. And then at the very at the very end, like, okay, vamanos. <laughs> like, <let's go. laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was so perfect, man. It, it was oh, a really funny episode. Uh, I rem I, w I remember when I, I saw like the script. I'm like, this is some Mexican shit. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it was God damn it! No, as soon as I saw the fucking barrel, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, oh, all right, you're an animator. You're a Twitch streamer, also. And that seems to... You have a big crowd for that. I think a lot of people really like that. Yeah? What? Twitch what? streamer? <laughs> what? Am I saying no. wrong? what? I'm not a Twitch streamer. You're not? I do one stream <laughs> once a month. I try my best and it's like, I'm so lazy. I don't want to do anything. If you, if, you're not a, if you only do it once a month, why do I see so many videos of you being such a good Twitch streamer? Let's see my head, you're a Twitch streamer. Here's the problem. <laughs> Uh -huh. If I do Twitch stream all the time, I'm not going to get finished anything because it's so fucking fun talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. To try to actually work on something while you're streaming is the absolute worst thing. You're not going to get anything done. Yeah, and it's a good way to interact with your community, too. So I could see why that would be distracting. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, one time I remember I was working on Moki. I did like one drawing, one doodle. That's it. I did that for three hours. I got so mad. I'm like, look, look, I didn't fucking do anything. Right. <laughs> because I'm having fun. You drew one line. You drew a nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, but, but doing jokes on stream, it's really fucking good. I remember the first line joke. Mm -hmm. I remember. Okay. Okay. It was the sun episode on Mucky. Basically, I was doing like, I think there was Jesus and Shatman. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, I remember <laughs> I remember this. That's already not a good combo. <laughs> I'm already here for this. It's it's good. It's good. I remember doing what the fuck do I do here? Yeah. And then they just something came. Okay, I know. Judas. 
I grab a <laughs> literal image of Judas kissing Jesus and I just fucking <laughs> drew it all over it. <laughs> The, the face that Mocky does when kissing Jesus is literally Judas, that's it. And then doing the whole chat, man, oh my god, I was laughing so bad on stream. It was amazing. That's really good. <laughs> and what was the man, question? I know you have to get work done, but God, it seems so fun for you to be streaming because it just seems like a good ass time and you're just making bullshit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> do you get ideas from the streams that you put in your pocket and it's like, oh, I got to actually do that later. That's a new idea. That's something I haven't done yet. Um, yes, I know. If it's a joke, yes. If it's like an animation idea, probably not. Because no. I have I have a lot of fucking ideas, dude. It's like what I what where I I do fucking start. Is there anything you could share with us that would be okay? Um, um It's up to um, you. I'm pushing you. It's up to you if you want to share a like low key idea and we can jam about it and laugh about it. Oh. But if not, that's okay too. Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. There is this um I didn't got it on, on stream, but I was, let's say, evolving it on stream while I was talking to people. So I want to make some kind of animation series mm -hmm. where the, you have the comedy one. O originally, I wanted to call those the devil's dreams. Just Ooh. something normal and then everything goes to shit. Okay, yeah, that's fun. Hmm. So a long time ago, I made an animation on Twitter of a dad teaching a kid how to kill himself. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Casually, yeah. just uh, sure. Yeah, Why not? Just, just, some, just something normal. It's just fine. It starts very grounded. It's like, no, look, son. Yeah, and <laughs> then I started saying, well, how about the dad um, it tells the kid, oh, you gotta eat your vegetables. <laughs> it doesn't want it, and they fight about it. The mom is like, no, don't fight. Please don't fight. And the dad starts eating the kid. And then the mom realizes that <laughs> it's not vegetables. <laughs> Oh my it's, god. It's fucking human meat and the, the dad just vegetables. kidnapped someone. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. like broccoli. Yeah, and like everything is on the dad's mind and the girl needs to keep it up so she can still be living. And then another person comes to the house. Oh, hello, son. How are you doing? <laughs> That's good. Oh, so it just starts as a very grounded, normal scene where a dad just very normally um, teaches a, a kid how to kill himself. And then it goes into the dining room and they start eating human meat. Oh no, that's different. They're, they're forget about the killing self. Was, was I thought little... you were talking about one. I thought that was the same one. <laughs> that's that's one animation I made on Twitter. I okay. Just <laughs> wow, it's it's not the continuation hell. No. <laughs> well, now it has to be. Okay, sure, sure. So just like a normal family doing normal things, normal, and then by the end of the video, it's just complete utter horrible chaos, and they're eating each other and death and despair. Yes, that's actually. Badass. Now that I remember, that was an idea from a stream, but it had a different number, a different name, sorry. It was um, the bird in the window, and yeah. every time a bird appear, something incredibly fucked up will happen, basically telling the audience the bird is a cosmically horror shit that turns, turns everything into shit. Let's say yeah. the mom says, oh, stop. And the dad like stops and doesn't know anything. Oh, why are you not doing anything? I'm doing everything. Starts cooking and cleaning. Just everything <laughs> goes to shit until they both stop existing. Uh, <laughs> <just> pop into, <laughs> out of reality. That's it. Yes. That's good. Oh, but, but, but I, I, I didn't do that because another person made a burn in the window animation and made me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to talk about uh, one animation that you were, uh, you know, fortunate enough to to voice in, um, and it goes back to the concept teaser trailer for Hot Salsa. Is there is there any new development on that? Because just from that little teaser uh, oh. teaser trailer that uh, the one oh. that Scumhouse put together, like that that was really cool, and I want to see more of it because it looks freaking awesome. Is is there any like, new development on that, or is everything still kind of like in the development phase. I mean, you gotta interview the guy because I li really don't know anything. The last thing that I know is I voice <laughs> the, the little guy and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you did the voice and it's really, what it is. Yeah, yeah that's I, I would it. really love to see that. I would love to see that, you know, become, you know, a, a nice little series because just the characters alone, they were really quirky, they were funny, and, you know, it, it was something fresh and new. So it, I would love to see that actually become, you know, something. That would be pretty cool. 
Yeah, yeah I, I really want, like, I, I wanted to just start it and keep going. I, I think it's going to take a little bit of time because this whole Corona thing and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. with all that stuff. Hey, speaking of things we're talking about. Oh, you're making a game, right? There's a game out there. Mm. What a, it's a, yes. called What a Horrible Year. Yes. I didn't think, are you making the game? Like, are you the one doing the programming too? Oh, hell no. I'm a dumbass. I am an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were. <laughs> I'm just doing the animations and the sprites and all that. Um, a guy named Lunatic is helping me. Okay. And, and, and holy are, are, are shit, he's see, really yeah. good at fucking coding cat, damn it. Right, are we going to see the game on, uh, on Newgrounds or is it going to be for, uh, for Steam or anything uh, or for like what platforms in general? Okay, well, sadly, it's not going to be on Newgrounds. That was my main goal, but let's say right now we can't because there's a whole hassle with exporting games on HTML and all that shit. And yeah, yeah, sometimes you got to change stuff to make it good for the, the Explorer or it's just a whole hassle. I don't know, but it takes time. That makes sense. Uh, That's too bad. I would yeah. love to see it on Newgrounds. But yeah, HTML, if you haven't made a game in HTML5, porting it to HTML5 is a bitch. It's hard because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't work. And yeah, well, we'll see it someday, right? Maybe. Uh, pr probably a trailer, but that will be it. Maybe something tiny. I don't know. Well, it's a cool game. Anybody who's uh, listening, I think you should check it out. What a terrible year. It's, it's fun. It looks like you're just having a good time getting guns and shooting the military or something. No, 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 no. What a horrible year. In short, why? <laughs> In short, why? Yeah, you got why? it. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. I love that. And it's about 1990, right? It's, it's not about, you know, any specific year or like any like ca catastrophic year, just about like 1990 or. But, but uh, uh, no, you're kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> I am kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm making a joke and it's a bad one. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Let me let me let me say the the first five months. Okay, so the first the first three months, which are in the game, is the the war, which is which some some country some person started it, and the other country was like, oh, you will see. Then the second month was about the Australian fires. Then the third, of course, Corona. The fourth is the the whole quarantine. And the fifth is the most controversial one, the one that I'm scared of because I don't know if people are going to take it good. I don't know if take it bad, but, but it's something that happened the last year. So I'm like, fuck the, uh -huh. the whole police thing. Oh, no. OK, oh. sure. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, that it's it's fine. You 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 shoot the police. It's not like something bad. It's fine. <laughs> uh, sure. Right? Uh, yeah, it'll, no. It's not <laughs> it'll go but, well with some people. It'll go horribly wrong with others but yeah. you know it, yeah but it, it, but he, 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 <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing i put it not only because everything that happened like also something here on my on my country happened let's not talk about it it's like uh, it's a whole hassle mm -hmm. um but the thing is like i mean it's there it's there because it happened right so and that's going to be if you, if you know then that might be part of what informs the game or that part of it yeah that's that's a part of it then yeah. they just it keeps going until the last two months, which are not real because it didn't happen and we didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> People joke about you being a controversial artist and animator. I know that when we talked about this a bit before the show started, but a lot of times people say that and it's kind of a community that's up in arms that you did something against that community or I don't know. You've gotten better at dealing with that, right? I mean, not dealing with that, more like. Uh, learn from my mistakes and just keep moving and don't fuck it up again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if people are listening, expecting the eager after thing to come into play. It is the Newgrounds podcast, but. Oh, well, that's different. That, that's, that's, that's not, that, that's dumb. <laughs> that that yeah. whole shit was dumb. That's, that's different. It was. It was dumb. Yes. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it then. Uh, so, uh, of course, you made an animation that basically depicted story time YouTube, uh, YouTubers and it blew up. I thought it was hilarious. A lot of people thought it was hilarious, but then some people thought it wasn't and you were making fun of people who were, you know, just trying to make content and express themselves in a way. And one of those people was, you know, new ground zone Eagle Raptor and you were kind of taken aback from it. So 
you do you want to elaborate on you know why Aaron thought it was appropriate to you know respond in a negative way to to the video? Well, well, first let me go back in time where everything started. <laughs> Okay, nice. so I made an animation on Twitter. <laughs> it, the the whole hating Storytime animators was pretty hot. So I'm like, hey, yes, I feel inspired. Let's let's make fun. Yes, I love making fun of everyone, including myself. A, a lot of myself. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, I made them. It was funny. I, one of the jokes I kept on on the new animation where there's this the the normal two inside. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, the one character, one marshmallow character, where he turns into a pig. I love that joke. I kept it there. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, I did the animation and it, it, it felt, after watching it more and more, it felt like this is just insulting. This is bad. Then on my streams, I started doing the, the, main, the main animation, which is every storytime animator. Yeah. And then I said in every single stream, this animation is not meant to offend anyone. I, the last thing that I want to do is offend someone. Let's just make fun of everyone. Every single person, not them. The, crit the critics, the viewers, me, everyone. And that was the main rule. That, that was the main rule. I started making a stream, talking to people. Oh, which one do I add? And uh, what about the jokes? There, there is this guy on you on YouTube that criticized uh, Storytime Animators a lot. It's called Daphina. He helped me with one person. I don't want to talk about her situation a lot, but let's say thanks to a video, she got really popular for that video. And a lot of people uh, criticize her and but not criticize her, more like tell her how to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's annoying. So I'd rather put that that joke rather than a joke about her, her experience with life because that that was more respectful than the whole shit the point mm -hmm. is after making fun of like the storytime animators i decided to make fun of the the critics <laughs> I <rem> <laughs> which is what you're supposed to do <laughs> exactly <laughs> so i i remember when it was really hot there was three videos, really fucking strong videos. No, four actually, but the fourth one wasn't that big. Daphina, he criticized, and he got big criticized in Storytime Animators. Then there is this guy, um, Tom something. He he was just throwing bullshit and shit. I I never liked his videos, but uh, whatever. <laughs> he yeah. he was part of it, so it's fine. Then it was the, ah, fuck, I don't remember his name, Ordinary, fuck, it's, it's like a British. He says, I have enough time, for, for too much free time, something like that. Fuck, I don't remember his name. <laughs> uh, me neither. The, the, the honest opinion, no, 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 the, the right <laughs> opinion, the right opinion. And then the other one, which was LSR, I think, LS Mark, LS Mark, LS Mark. Oh, LS Mark, yeah, I know LS Mark. Yeah, those four um, critics made like really big. They they didn't got popular, but they got like a really big part of the whole criticizing and hating storytime animators. Yeah. So I decided to put them. But the thing is, it was just fucking crazy. You don't, you don't fucking you shouldn't feel scared of these fucking people. They are just critics. Right. So at the end, of the whole joke, I just tell that their whole criticism is piss. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> if you take it or not, it's fine. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I made fun of like the viewers recording myself as one saying like, I, okay, I had this problem, which some of my viewers will say, oh, you're better than storytime animators because you know how to animate. And I will laugh at myself because the next day after that or the day before that, I will upload a fucking mocky video. And that's what's got fucking animation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> Yeah, and it will be fucking stupid. So I'm like, right. you know what? I'm gonna put myself, and I'm gonna die. It just, just everything's <laughs> fucking dumb. Sure. Everything's so fucking dumb and stupid. <laughs> Actually, I added something really important. Well, I added my characters, but besides that, there is one character that appears from a monster's mouth or pussy. It was originally pussy, but <laughs> okay, you know, sure. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube being how it is. Um. <laughs> yeah, where it's basically storytime animators that are feeding from the community to just get fucking money, and they tell lies, they read, mm -hmm. they read some Reddit shit, whatever. They just getting money from the whole thing, and it, you know, it's 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 part of the whole storytime animator. And you got included. You got to include 
all of it. Yeah. It's two people. To I think you're right it. so far. It's a, it's a, you're seeing it from every side. They do kind of have that vibe sometimes. Yeah. Nothing wrong yet. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I, I try to animate every single one, like how they animate themselves. Which is you, awesome. Yeah. We, you got to respect them. You, you yeah. can make fun of someone, but you got to respect them. Right. It's parody. That, that, it's like loving, it's, yes. lovingly making fun of. Yeah. Yes. Uh, w- what's the phrase? Um, the making a parody is the best love letter or something like that. Yeah. It's you say you make a parody. You say like it's a love letter to story time animation. Yeah, you can say that. Listen, I, I, I don't enjoy all of them, but I enjoy some of them and I respect the hustle. I respect yeah. what they do. They love it. It's fine. Who cares? Now, here comes the funny part. <laughs> Everything was nice. Some story time animators um, saw it and they enjoyed it. And then I remember I went to eat shrimp. I went to a restaurant eating shrimp with my family. <laughs> and then my fucking phone, like a fucking dildo. <laughs> I'm like, well, what the fuck is going on? And then, oh, fuck. Okay, okay. I like I'm this gonna... so far. Shrimp, dildos, we're in a good place right now. Keep rolling. <laughs> Okay, so there is, I think, four sides. I, I think I told you four sides of the, of the coin, or three. Uh-huh. Three sides. Three sides of the coin. The worst. <laughs> sure? Yeah. It, the worst. Oh, well, hold on. Let's not talk about that first. Okay. Eagle Raptor, Aaron Hasen, Hasson. Uh, well, tell me a really popular, <laughs> a really popular comment on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Where he he told me like I was a bully and he was treated like that and that wasn't good. And then I told him, well, I got bullied, but that, that, that's not the point. Like, come on. I talked to him on the DMs. Uh, I won't talk about it because we are with a lot of people and that's not supposed to be it with the DMs. Yeah. But the uh, thing DM is, is direct and private. Yeah. That's between you and him. That's fair. Exactly. That's fair. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, uh, everything and um, like, kind of good, I guess. I really don't know. I have my opinions with it, but that's yeah. where it stays. It sounds like everyone just kind of was ready for it to settle down. And so everyone just settled it down. It sounds like yes. it was like, whatever you were like, whatever. And everybody in the internet was like, whatever. <laughs> and they moved on. Yeah. The thing is, I had the video and Aaron put the bomb and light it up and he didn't move from the fucking bomb. And mm-hmm. that was the main problem. <laughs> yeah. The three sides of the coin that I Fucking, this is the worst fucking drama that I ever had. It's the stupidest, <laughs> dude. It's, it's just so right. fucking dumb. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start with the side of Aaron, which is I'm a bully. I am a horrible person. Look, knowing you, none of you know my fucking life. Knowing it, I was laughing because it was so stupid. Oh, yes, I'm going to bully some country critics. And I'm going to bully the critics. Ooh, I'm going to bully my... Yeah. It's so Tale of the stupid. Bully, stealing your lunch money, mean kid. Exactly. It's, it's so fucking dumb. Then, <laughs> then my side, I hated it too because I, I, I feel flattered that people care. Like my friends were like, oh, Pillow, you're fine. And I'm like, well, what happened? Well, well Eagle Raptor send you a... He left a comment. Oh, that's fine. Let me read it. No, dude, don't just don't go. Let me read. Oh, fuck. Man. <laughs> then, then some other animators came. Oh, dude, I hope you're fine. I'm like, it's fine. Listen, I had a bunch of ice for the most dumbest reason. And I felt disgusted by it. I'm like, mm-hmm. I am getting all this attention for something dumb. I didn't cure cancer. I didn't make a really good animation <laughs> or right. like a good joke. No, it's just because it's stupid shit. Right. And doesn't that make you feel a little shitty when you like, you see how much attention you get from that and you're like, well, where were y'all when I did this amazing thing I'm really proud of? <laughs> yeah. Like, why couldn't you be really into the thing I did that was really cool? Why is it the least impressive thing that gets to most people? No, no, no. L- left that aside. Okay. How, how, about, how about you act like that when, when someone needs help? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me help you, let me help Oh, uh, yeah. No one, because it's not drama, because no one is angry. It's like he needs help. Oh, someone will help him. Let me just get mad at this stupid shit. Right. Oh, my God. It was it was so dumb. I didn't like having eyes and people caring for me for just something stupid. I just didn't like it. It was disgusting for me. And yeah. then my favorite side, the fortune side. <laughs> one of my oh. friends sent me... Uh, Here we go. A, Send me a thing <laughs> on 4chan. They are talking about you. And I'm like, ooh, yes. Listen, <laughs> I love 4chan. 
I know they probably hate me or something because I'm a Mexican. I've seen comments about myself and it makes me, <laughs> makes me laugh so much. Oh no. But I remember seeing like, okay, I, I, got, I gotta give them the hand to them because one of them said, and it's totally true. I didn't understand the whole thing, the whole video, because it's just references. And I gotta give them to him. If no one knows anyone or the whole context, the, the, the video is just dumb. And mm. that made me change. That, that made me think a lot about what I'm fucking doing. And, and like what aspect? Uh, and like, if you're going to do a video, put the references aside. Like, for example, you have Family Guy and some of the jokes are referenced. Uh, some people are not going to get it. Right. I watch it sometimes and there's a reference of some popular guy, but I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. And if they put like, let's say the characters on the background without affecting the main, the main story. That would be perfect. Yeah. A little dog whistle. Yeah. Only people who understand it. Like, oh, I saw them. That's awesome. But nobody's confused because they're trying to be a character. I get that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, one of the persons that said that on, on 4chan, like, thank you so much. Bless, suck your dick, whatever you want. <laughs> um, but then I saw, of course, the, oh, yeah, Noni. And Noni went to defend me, which I'm like, uh, I thank you, but God damn it. Yeah. And well, basically, Fortune was like, dude, fucking Aaron is a piece of shit. And Oni's a lad and Pelo is a pussy. Oh, what Pelo is a pussy? Because he didn't say shit. He was like, duh, 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 duh. and I was just laughing because it's, it's just people <laughs> talking about something dumb. I was laughing right. so bad. <laughs> it, it, it was it was amazing and dumb. I, I don't know. Dude. It's it's. It's just, just some fucking internet drama. It's like, yeah, whatever. they just have the biggest reaction about nothing. It's just about, they're just spinning their wheels. They're having a reaction about the things that other people having a reaction to. You having a, re yeah, it's so, all that internet drama ends up being is just people reacting to people's reactions to people's reactions. Yep. Uh, I gotta say this, though. I gotta say this. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Aaron didn't run. He stayed next to the bomb. And yeah. this is the internet. People remember. And of course, they brought up the stuff from his past, which is really shitty. Like, come on, everyone has done something shitty in their past. And as they started saying, oh, well, you did this to the Sonic fans. You bullied them. You <laughs> talk shit about them. And they mm. just grew and grew and until Aaron needed to say sorry. No, not for me, of course. Right. <laughs> but and at the end of the day, I just made... Uh, a video about it like like a little funny haha about it because it was dumb and that's it jeez the good thing is that everyone's moved on from it and it's just kind of under the rug now and i guess you can say it was a learning experience as well you know <laughs> <laughs> learning what learning fucking what? yeah hey everybody's gotta just, have some weirdo just, scandal just at least like yours is pretty <laughs> nondescript at the end of the true. day you know <laughs> listen i had many many scandals this one is the stupidest one because people got mad and frustrated over something yeah. that is not there yeah jesus christ yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that and that's a lesson that the internet can be a, a cesspool for people who just want to voice their opinions about something that doesn't need to be voiced about. You know, yeah. But, 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 that's the thing. You know what? It's it's fine giving your opinion, but just don't get angry. Don't don't ruin yeah. your day. Just give it. It's fine. Everyone wants to give their opinions. Everyone wants to criticize. Everyone wants to do whatever. But just. Don't ruin your day over something dumb on the internet. Yeah. Who cares? That's a good lesson for all of us, I think. Don't ruin your don't yeah. ruin your day over something dumb on the internet. It's gonna be gone tomorrow. It's all dust in the wind anyway. And we're all just having fun. You're just having fun. You're making amazing, funny little videos of people screaming in the mouse. And that's what we love you for. We don't think when I think about Palo, I don't yeah, think yeah. about the drama. I think about the cool fun animations at the end of the day. <laughs> Right. <laughs> thank you for, uh, yes, thank you yeah, for documenting all that, by the way. I was really enjoying listening to that story <laughs> from your side. Uh, no, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Man. Uh, but uh, <laughs> fuck, listen, we just come here on the internet to have fun and make things and share. Yeah. Let's just do that. I understand that things are sometimes you see something and it's like so upsetting, but just don't ruin your day. It's, it's the internet. Everyone is fucking dumb on this. It's just fucking the internet. Yeah, it's just, everyone, everyone is dumb and everyone is wrong. That's it. Everyone is right. a piece of shit. 
It, either way you see it, who, who can fuck everyone? Fuck me. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck him. Fuck everyone. That's fuck it. you. <laughs> that yes. was fun. That was that felt good. I love it. And fuck you too. Never mind. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, hey, all right, let's talk about some smaller things because uh, you guys in the crowd, yeah, let's <laughs> tell us uh, yes. little things you might want us to hear about. I want to start. Uh, Hal said something earlier. I don't want to get to him. He wanted you to talk about TF two. Oh yes! <laughs> oh, that was a good question. Yeah. Oh fuck! I I I miss the good old TF2. God damn it, man! Yeah. God fucking damn it! <laughs> yeah, it's just it's fun, but without new things, it's just meh. Yeah. And that was that. So, guys, um, yeah, other stuff. Let's get let's get it going. <laughs> no, yeah, let, 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 go ahead, go ahead, and ask some questions in uh chat, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh fuck. You have fun with your with your crowd. Is there another game after Toho you're gonna to get into? Yeah, Toho On the Seven. Toho Seven, another <laughs> another Toho. No, I should have guessed that. I, actually, actually though, I I don't play on on stream a lot. I play that time because I wanted it because I know how frustrated I get. So I said oh, it would be fun playing it on stream. But I don't. I I like doing stuff like just drawing or working on in the stream rather than playing. I don't know. It's it's funnier yeah. no not funnier enjoyable more enjoyable than just playing games so you you can't get anything done when you're streaming because you're having too much fun but you also like working on stuff on stream better than playing games because it's more fun yes. <laughs> yes i like the sound of your stream i really do like you as a streamer it's just a fun vibe <laughs> <laughs> i saw you streaming uh fall guys one time god what happened to that freaking thing i don't hear anybody talk about fall guys it fell off <laughs> fell off. Ah. <laughs> 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 Spooks go last. What's your favorite food? Uh, um, sh- it's, it's called shrimp chilpaya. Imagine Ooh. this shrimp, but with uh, like a cream that is uh, spicy, but it's really fucking good. Like l- lemonish, lemonish. Mm. I-, I don't know, but it's yeah. just so fucking. I'm like, oh fuck yeah! And then you put that sauce on top of fish. Oh, it's so fucking good. Hell oh, yeah! I want that. That sounds great. Is that the shrimp you were eating when the dildo went off in your pocket? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dildo went off in your pocket. <laughs> Call back. <clears throat> we got a, a good question from Albie. He says, uh, have you planned any animation making fun of the entire continent of South America? Holy shit. <laughs> that that will be amazing and, and funnier. He, he, here's the problem. It will take a long <laughs> fucking time. I want to make one yeah. up with you. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. I forgot to say something. Uh, I remember Eagle Raptor got mad because mm. I I added Newgrounds, but the whole Newgrounds section is because animators got mad at Storytime animators for <laughs> for getting a lot yeah. of views when it's not a lot of animation, and also Newgrounds has that little thing with YouTube. <laughs> Oh mm-hmm. my my yeah, uh, dude, dude, animators like, really had a tiff with story time because they think it's not as pure animation and it's trying to be easy and make a buck and it's not for the art. So, yeah, they kind of went all about that. So yes. Now now I bring that up because I wanna make uh every fucking YouTuber just make fun of every single YouTuber making fun mm-hmm. of animations on YouTube, tiny YouTubers that can't grow and they have really good content and no ground. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come here. Come here, please come here. <laughs> Little dudes, it's <such> YouTube. <laughs> come here, please. You, please come here. Would you do a video where you make fun of this show? I think you could do that. I, I mean, I need, I need to do a podcast one. Every single podcast. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Would, do every that podcast that invites you on and then just make fun of them all and make video. But instead of video, it's, it's an entire podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With our episode, you do have to talk about the dildo going off in your pocket. That That, that was the... You know, highlight of this podcast. <laughs> By the time you tell this the fifth or sixth time, there's not going to be a phone in your pocket at all. Like it's already becoming warped. You see how this goes? By the time we talk about this next time, it's like, dude, Palo had a fucking dildo in his pocket. Remember that? He said so. <laughs> he was eating shrimp. He had a dildo in his pocket and it went off. And it went off because of Aaron Hansen. How weird is that shit? <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's where it goes. I like that. Aaron pressed that button and the dildo went off. And he choked on the shrimp. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, AI gosh. grump. I'm not so grump. <laughs> 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 Fucking playing that, that, that thing. Oh, that's how yeah, good. That's good. Do it. <laughs> um, oh, 
Oh man, dude, is there anything you want us to check out by the way? If after this, what do we, how can we, what is the thing you want us to support of yours in particular, the game maybe, or something you're about to post? Uh, I mean, I don't have anything to post right now, to be honest. I haven't worked because I'm being, I just been resting a lot. Mm. Um, I mean, if you want to play the game, go ahead. Like it, it really, of course it makes me happy that people play it. Yeah. And, and they record themselves or, or do a stream or something, just saying. Yeah. Or, or watch a video, a subscribe. I, I don't know. Buy your merchandise. You, you have merch. You have a cute plush. You have a lot of cute no, plushes. Different no, sizes. I, I, I don't have a plush anymore. They sold out. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, don't wow, buy the plush. Look at that. I'm working on it though. There's more merch coming up, but okay. I, I, here's the thing though: I don't like making a lot of merch because it, yeah. it, I don't know. It just feels eh, weird. Oh, because it's like a, a humility thing. It's like I don't want to have a bunch of stuffed animals and myself floating around. It just feels too important. <laughs> more of like I don't want to make the same thing and just suck people's money. Uh -huh. If I like, like yeah, I can make shirts every every time, but at least I want to make. A, a merch that is like oh my god that's new so you want to make you want to do it when you have something creative to put out you don't want to make a plush just to people give you money you want to make it when it's creative and funny i mean i mean i, I, I mean yeah i, I have <laughs> two ideas but yeah <laughs> um here's the thing though there, there's there's another pillow plush coming but it's just different Ooh. because people want the pillow plush people want the pillow plush what that's can i nice do? i mean i want one they look cuddly yeah i want one <laughs> Those plushes are good. If you can get them made, I mean, there's some, first of all, you have it in your room forever. I have plushes from like five or seven years ago. I haven't thrown away because they're so cute. And then you can sleep with, oh, so you can sleep with them. Is that creepy? Like you make a plush, you know, somebody's going to like sleep with a little thing of you. <laughs> or is that good? I, if someone sleeps with, with, with your mom, why would be bad sleeping with them? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well folks <laughs> that's what happens um that's um, what you should do for our friend Palo. is you should like and you should subscribe to the channel he has a lot of subscribers yes. you need to be one of them it's a really great thing you need to catch his streams when he does them once a year because they're, they're like the eclipse <laughs> they're rare but when they're there they're amazing oh my and god <laughs> i love the eclipse <laughs> that's what it's gonna be is that is there anything else you want to say to the, the audience tonight in the chat I mean, I mean, no, I don't. I I didn't plan this, dude. I don't know <laughs> what to tell them. I just just go watch videos, uh, subscribe to the YouTube, to Twitch. I don't know, do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm putting Above. you on the spot to be like a capital C yes. creator guy. We're, yeah, <laughs> push the like button, push the subscribe. I'm just trying to get people to support you as much as possible, dude, because you are worth it. You're worth supporting. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on, my man. This was fun. This was really fun. Uh, thank you yeah, for inviting thank you, me. Thank you, <laughs> Yeah, yeah thank, thank you too for inviting me. Yes. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye.